Hey, Nathan here. Welcome back to another series from PH Studios. This is a XNA and C Sharp quick tips. These are just things that people have messaged me about and just little quick things that I can discuss in one to two, sometimes five minutes instead of a tutorial that takes 10, 20, 30 minutes and so on. So I'll be discussing short topics, maybe one or two each video, this one will just be one for the first video. So the first request that I got was what are the getters and setters in C Sharp? Uh, what, is this, what is this? What does this mean? So I'll discuss that. We have a private field here that's an integer value and we called it health. And we initialize it to 100. Now, we want to get it outside of this class, so we need to get a public getter and setter. Uh, one of these ways, one of the ways is to create a method to get and set the health, or the preferred way for C Sharp is to create what these things are called properties. Now, these allow you to get and set data by having a get bracket and set bracket, the get block and set block. Now, when you use these properties, you basically you do the same thing when you use it to end when you set it. You just have when you set it, you just have an equals. When you use it, you just use it. So let me demonstrate that. We have a ship s is equal to new ship. And to get it, I'm using this as a, a console application, so do not do this inside of an XNA code. Uh, s dot health. So this is getting that data. This is getting that health data here. Now to set it, 50. We have an equals and we pass it the int value that we want. So now it says 50. Now if we take that set line out, we comment it out, it's at 100, which is what the default value was. So these are what getters and setters are. There's more complex things you can do with them. You can have a method here. You can have a method. It'll call a method while inside this getter and setter. And we can set it, uh, let's say, inside the method A. Oops, I forgot a semicolon in there. Alright, so now that did not display is because we did not set it. Now if we uncomment that line, we see we are inside method A and it says 50. So you can call methods inside the getter and setter. You can do anything you want just as this long as it's in the brackets. When you set it, if you want to get to the value, you you use this value keyword. Now the final thing in bef before I finish this video, you can create an infinite loop. So you want to be careful. You want to be sure that you're actually calling the field value, not the property value. Like if I do a capital H here, and capital H here, it'll create an infinite loop. And it said just there, process is terminated due to a stack overflow. It's because this is calling the, we have uh, git, so it's calling the uh, git health, the property health. So we go back into health and we get to the git, and now it's returning to health, so it's creating an infinite loop. So you want to make sure that you get the field and set the field instead of the property name. Now the latest version in of C Sharp, I think this was only available in the latest version. You do not have to have a field. If you want to eliminate that possibility of creating an infinite loop and you do not care about setting a, a default value besides setting it in the constructor, you can do something like this. And it operates the same way. 
So this creates a field at compile time that you do not have to write. So that's it for this quick tip. I hope to see you for more, and I hope you enjoyed the tutorial that was just released today.